are monitoring the arrival of Holy Week travelers at the country's main airport. Our Rector Demetrio joins us from Naia, which is expected to see an influx of passengers starting today. Rex, have they added immigration personnel and what's the situation there so far? It's a weekend and the Holy Week is about to start. So, what would you expect? Long lines of travelers starting from the entrance of terminals just like here at Naia Terminal 3. This cannot be seen during normal days, so it's better for you to arrive here four to five hours before your flight. As you get inside the terminal, you must also expect long lines at waiting areas and check-in counters. This usually happens during the peak season, and airlines have promised to provide more personnel to man the check-in counters. But it's still better for you to check in online and get a screenshot of your boarding pass. This will ensure the speedy processing of your baggage. Now, after checking in your luggage, you will pass through these immigration counters. The lines are still long, but they say this is not because of their issues about pay. They say this is just normal during Holy Week, although 20 immigration officers out of 113 are absent today. That's why they already put more augmentation personnel here from their main office to serve the passengers. But regardless of these challenges, these are nothing if you're coming here ahead of time and prepared. Rex Remitio, CNN, Philippines.